Welcome back here to the Mountain Morning Show. This month of April, coming up here in a few weeks, we have Earth Day. And for that, I have Stephanie Zweiger here, who's an education director with the Ogden Nature Center, here to talk about all of their great events and activities happening on that day, the celebration of Earth Day here in Utah. Stephanie, how are you doing? I'm doing well. Thanks for having Excellent. me. Excellent. As we all know, outdoor lovers and naturalists alike, it's one of their favorite days of the year, celebrate yeah. the great Mother Earth. And you guys have some amazing amazing really like really cool events coming up for that as we well. do April is a big month for us okay. it is Earth Month yes so we have a lot going on but I think the most popular the thing that we really want to talk about is our Earth Day Festival and so this year it's on April 21st okay and um, it's from 11 to 4 and it's basically a festival just celebrating everything Earth. It's great for the kids, it's great for adults, it's great for anyone who wants to come and enjoy anyone it. Anyone who just wants to enjoy the great outdoors that we are lucky enough to have here in Utah. We're yes. so blessed as a state to have these beautiful landmarks that surround us all across the state from all the way from southern Utah to up in Ogden and, and north of that as well. So it's a great way to just get out there and celebrate and enjoy and, and appreciate what we have here. Absolutely. Let's talk about some of the events that are going on. You guys have some really, really cool stuff here. Literally a packet. It's it's thick. I could. <laughs> it's really thick. This is everything that's happening going on. So there's an Earth and Art exhibit, there's an Earth Day poster exhibit, there's workshops, there's fun activities. Let's talk about that. For yeah, sure. so we've got lots of workshops going on. Composting, there's That's one great. on plastics, um, there's uh, puppet making, so reusable materials of puppet making. Um, so lots of fun. That There's also stuff for the kids. So we do puppet shows and stories and little crafts related to stories and recycled art crafts and just See, a lot of it seems like it's centered around the theme of reduce reuse recycle obviously Absolutely. because we're celebrating mother earth and wanting to protect her let's talk about some of these workshops this composting one seems really interesting because of uh planting seasons coming up right around the corner it everyone's is. getting their soil beds ready for their gardens this composting workshop is a perfect way to get introduced to the idea of composting and, and how great it can Absolutely. be for your crops if you've never done it before and not just that but just reducing the amount i don't know about you but I hate full trash cans oh, like I, if I your agree. trash can gets full before the trash, trash day, day isn't that awful I feel horrible yeah. so the more that we can look for products that are recyclable that are actually recyclable because there's a lot of products and this is where we like to educate people that are not recyclable that we yes, think are. that we think they are yeah, yeah. absolutely like those um, milk cartons that ha are paper you yes. think they're the paper they have a lining inside of them and they completely and yeah they're not, recyclable. they're not recyclable yeah so educating the public about that but also giving that opportunity for um, individuals composting is great for that because you have all this food waste, right? Even just things like banana peels and coffee grounds. Absolutely. And just stuff that, eggshells, things that, you know, you, you didn't waste the food. You just, you have leftovers that you're not going to consume. Composting is a great way to reduce that trash and get rid of those. Absolutely, and it goes right back into the soil. It creates, yeah. it makes a really healthy soil. If you're, if you have a, a home garden or if you participate in a community garden, it's a great way to boost the uh, the nitrogen counts in your soil, Absolutely. as well as make some really healthy plants for you. You'll be very happy when it comes time to pick all those tomatoes because they'll yeah. be huge and ripe and delicious. And even if you don't have a vegetable garden, you can put that compost, compost exactly. right onto your plants. You can, um, if you don't want to compost directly, you can actually crush up your eggshells. And, and your coffee sprinkle. grounds. And yeah, and it does great things does for does really so great things, even for your lawn. You'll yes, have the greenest you will, lawn. You'll you have will. the greenest lawn on the block. <laughs> Let's talk about some of the cool uh, entertainment that'll be happening there as well. You guys got some uh, live music. There's going to be some Irish dancers. Yes. The Utah Puppet Association will be there as well, putting on puppet shows for the kids. Yeah, so they actually do a workshop where they teach you. They have, uh, like, making puppets out of materials, and then they do actually do a presentation. And they're fantastic. And those Irish dancers, they come every year so great oh we love so them. good they're so cute awesome and I think we have some pictures that you had sent us to uh, to take a look at this as well we'll kind of talk while we yeah so this is some earthen art so we've actually along the trails we have artists that are going around and actually creating art out of nature and so there's some really really cool ones like there's a little fox so the earthen <laughs> art that's so cool so as you're walking around the trails mm -hmm. and you notice these so some really cool artists creating really really cool art pieces just from the surrounding environment there. yes just really taking awesome. nature and actually creating art from it and um, and so we do um, you can walk the trails we've got what we call trail tales so we've actually hooked story oh, uh, cool. like a story walk along the way which is really fun to do with your little and then on top of that of course looking for some of this artwork that's hidden along the trail that's kind of 
of cool. It makes it almost a little bit fun to, to walk around the trails and keep your eye out for this art that may be blending in because it, it is. is so natural looking that yeah. it doesn't stand out so, so much. There's also going to be some really great food there as well. Food from Cup Bop, Lucky Slice, Susie Scones, Grounds for Coffee, Menchies, and much more there. Yes. So where can, pe where can people go to uh, get tickets? Uh, can they buy in advance or is it just at the door? Just at the door. Yep. It's just at the door. It's four dollars and um, you can just come and you don't have to stay for the whole day if you don't want to. But there are so much to do that you actually can because there are vendors. There's people from all over Hawk Watch and Wild Aware. And if you want to learn more about what you can do every day, they're there. There's also vendors selling their recycled art and their, That's great. their materials. So if you're looking for kind of a unique, cool art piece that you can take home, not one you find on the trail. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Please don't take those. <laughs> yeah. But you can you can actually get those, which is really cool. Excellent. And this is at the Ogden Nature Center up in Ogden 966 West West 12th Street. Admissions only $4 per person. Really great value for everything that's going on there. Mm -hmm. This is Earth Day Saturday, April 21st. Uh, go, you can head to the website as well to check Absolutely. out everything that's going on. Absolutely. Sure. Our website, or if you're looking to kind of like, oh, that's kind of interesting, follow our Facebook or our Instagram. Instagram feed and you'll find lots of information of all the cool events we do because this is not just it we've got tons of projects coming up we've got actually a, a program tonight okay um, on um, we're showing the movie hoot and we're bringing <laughs> out our, our burrowing owl Jack um, and tomorrow we've got a trash to treasure workshop and a spring planting day Wow there's just a lot so April on. is a huge month and it's it's huge. Earth Month as you said but yes. it all culminates and celebrates on the 21st for Earth Day Stephanie thank you so thank much you for so coming much in for Absolutely. Be sure and head up to the Ogden Nature Center this Saturday, April 21st from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Admissions only $4 and it's going to be held rain or shine. Go out there and celebrate Earth Day. There's going to be so many activities, great food and stuff for you to do there. We're going to be back here on the Mountain Morning Show, so don't go anywhere.